Good morning, everybody. It's Dawn again at Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana, and we're back for another episode of Celebrate, the punch needle book that we're working through this year. And it's July already. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? July. Hello. Christmas is going to be just like in a minute. So it's it's crazy, but we're working our way through this book. And it's so exciting that we did the uh, cover uh, page last month. And uh, the, I decided to, I had this old, um, it's kind of just a notebook cover, really. You just slip a little notebook in there and I like to work on grid paper. So this was just my grid paper and I have, you know, business cards and all kinds of things. So like when I would go to a meeting, I would take this with me and it was the perfect color. Don't you think? Just the perfect color to bring out, um, the color of the hearts and all that. And then check out my, uh, I ended up, little whiskers. little whiskers. I ended up just taking the floss and just uh, rubbing some of my um, tacky glue on them. And it makes them stand up. They're so cute. That's the funnest part is the little whiskers on the kitty cat. So there's that all done and mounted onto that. I used um, Lady Dot, I think Lady Dot. Uh, let me get out the thing so I'll make sure I tell you the right thing. <clears throat> what I used on my finishing, that doesn't come in the kit. So if you want to add right. those on. I think it's what we saw at the shop, Lady Dot Crates. Dames, oh no, Dames of the Needle. They, oh, they're Dames both very, the they're needle. very similar. They're very similar. Here, let me focus on and, that Dames uh, of the Yeah. Colonial, blue, faded colonial blue is the color right there. And it just, that's how much I had left over from one yard. Dawn, it's amazing how once it's next to the punch needle, it looks totally yeah. different. Yeah, isn't that fun though? Yeah, let me zoom in on that. So I just made this a flat mounting flat and then I just glued the uh, pom poms on and then I glued the whole thing onto the, uh, onto the notebook. Now, I love that fabric glue, that Fabtex, but it didn't stick to my vinyl or whatever, leather, whatever this is. I don't think it's leather. I think it's vinyl. So I had to use my tacky glue, and then I set a book on it, and I just let it sit overnight. And it's on there. It's on there really good. It's not coming off. So that was uh, the little story about that. Hope you guys are punching that right now. And um, then... I uh, discovered a little secret this month. I was watching some uh, YouTube channels and uh, they used to have this little uh, coppery clip thing that they would clip on the bottom of their strands to separate them. It's kind of a counterweight is what it is, okay? They don't make them anymore. I don't know why, but I thought, it's all you need is a little bit of weight and a clip. So I got one of my binder, I mean, one of my, uh, what are those called, Peter? Binder clips. Well, Binding clips, clover. Clover? Yep. Wonder clips. Wonder clips, that's what oh, they- Oh, I always use them on binding, that's why I call them binding yeah. clips. Yeah, they are for binding. But here's, here's a package of them. And so you can kind of see what that's all about. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So, got my floss here. And I don't know how much you guys usually do. Well, I'm gonna do that much, I guess. <laughs> Is that six strands? Yep, that's six strands, all right. So, I'm gonna split it into three strands, but on this end, I'm gonna put my clip. Just like that, okay? And watch what happens. Can they see it, Peter? Do you want to focus on top or bottom? On the bottom. Okay. Well, I want you to just focus. Uh, here, how about if I stand here? There we go. Now look up here. Look up here at me. Okay. All I'm doing is I'm just separating them. And that keeps, the weight keeps it from tangling at the bottom, right? 
It keeps it from tangling, period. That's wonderful. Isn't that awesome? And that so took you then, like two seconds. Yeah. And so then all I do is just take it off the clip. I'm ready to put it in. You're ready to punch. Ready to punch. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. And, and it really was Gosh. a time saver. And all it was was this little bitty clip. It doesn't have to be heavy. It just has to be something that's just going to pull a little bit of weight yeah. on the strand while you're separating it. And, and it leaves it free enough to twirl so that it's twirling the kinks out as you're separating it. What a genius thing, huh? So pretty cool, I think. That's very cool. And then another thing I decided, um, you know, I've been needle punching now for uh, six months straight, seven, pretty much, seven months straight. And that's an awful lot of threading the needle, Peter. <laughs> you know it is, isn't it? It is. When you're not using those Valdani balls and you're using floss instead, oh. it goes, a, a strand Last, is a millisecond. Yeah. You know, ch -ch -ch -ch, you're done. done. You gotta re-thread. Re so I had a little talk with myself. I said, Dawn, you're gonna have to get over this begrudging threading the needle because I would looked at it as work. Oh man, it could be punching, you know, but no, I gotta stop, thread the needle. Well, then I all of a sudden, I just decided that loading the needle is part of the process. You might as well enjoy it or give up needle punch because it's part of it. So I just decided to myself, I said, Dawn, I pointed the finger at my, Dawn, and I shook my finger and I said, just learn to love to load the needle. That's just all there is to it. Learn to love it as much as you love punching. Needle, loading the needle, threading the needle is part of the process. So embrace it and enjoy it. And ever since then, it just kind of took the stigma away. Cause I, you know, before I'd say, oh, gotta thread the needle again, <sighs> you know. But now it's part of the process. Enjoy, oh, I get to load the needle again. Fun, fun, fun. So anyway. Gentleman Crow, isn't he yummy? Hey, cool. These are July uh, stitch, punch, or July punch. Um, in the pattern, it's really hard to see the wing. So let me show you in the pattern here. Where is he? Here he is. It's really hard to see the wing. So what you can do is make yourself a copy. It's hard to see the stars too. Make a copy and either cut them out using an exacto knife, cut them out and put something light behind them, like a blue piece of paper yeah. or a pink piece of paper or something yeah. when you're tracing them on the fabric so that you can see them. I hand drew mine in cause I just, you know, just had it there and the, the marker was there and I just hand drew them in. But when you get that under the box, when you get that under your uh, light box, you cannot see where the wing is. Oh, I see what you're saying. See, there's no, yeah. it's all so dark. It's so close. Uh -huh. uh, another thing you could maybe do is take a crayon, a bright pink crayon or something like that and maybe color it in. I don't know, but you don't want to risk getting that on your fabric. So I don't know if I would do that or not. I would cut it out myself. Just use an exacto knife, cut that little section out. Make a copy first. Definitely make a copy first, okay? So, those are some hints for this week, for this month's punch. I loved this background that we chose. It has a lot of movement in it. I love that we chose this dark blue. We didn't use, and I don't think we used any of her suggestions except for the Crow is Black 310 uh, DMC Black. That's the only thing I think that we use the same. Uh, she didn't make hers patriotic at all. So um, we'll give you, of course, the stitching order with all your uh, fibers. And then I found these at Goodwill. They came together in a little package at Goodwill. They're metal. They're hard. And what I'm going to do with my crow is I'm going to get one of those square jars. I think you can get them at Meyer. 
If you can't get them at Meyer, I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby. They're kind of squatty, but they're square. And hopefully they'll be big enough if I find the biggest one, hopefully. If not, I did buy us an antique jar on a, on an auction this week. So I'm hoping, and it's elongated. Mm. But what I'm hoping to do is to get some epoxy glue and glue these. They're pretty darn heavy. So I don't know if that's gonna work. That's why I'd rather do it on a store-bought jar than my antique jar I just bought. But I'm gonna try and glue these on the three sides and then glue this on the front of the jar and keep my red, white, and blue buttons in them. Wouldn't that be fun? Won't that be fun? That would be cool. So if, if that happens, you'll get to see it next month. If not, we'll come up with something fun to do with this. But this is the Gentleman Crow. The kits are gonna be available. Let's see, today's the 15th. Nancy's going to try and get them done. She's got an awful lot on her desk, but she's going to try and get them done today. So um, uh, Jennifer can process them, and they'll probably be out by Monday. So, or, you know, out Monday, not by Monday, but Monday. That's when they'll probably, you'll probably get the phone call. If you're having yours mailed to you, if you're picking them up in the store, you'll probably get the phone call that they're ready for pickup on Monday. So look forward to that. Get busy punching this. You're enjoy each day. Uh, make sure uh, that you, uh, if you like the pom poms, that you get in and get you some pom poms. You can always call Jennifer if you. Uh, I'll let her know which ones. Or Peter's going to list it in the drop down box. Speaking of that drop down box, I don't know if you guys know where that's at. I'm kind of in a frame on the YouTube. And over here, or maybe it's over here, whichever no, one. No, other finger. You're okay, right over this here. one over uh -huh. here. Okay, uh, over here, there's a little gray arrow. Oh, it could have been like the that. other hand, too. Okay. Let's go to the other hand. <laughs> it's on one of the corners, on one of the bottom corners. So hold on. A little gray arrow. And if you just touch that arrow, a list will pop up. And that'll be a list of things that refer to this whole uh, session of... Um, punch needle and also in there you're going to find a link if you're watching this for some reason and you're not part of this club that we're doing which is just fine you can buy the book separate and do your own thing but um if you're watching this video and you'd like to know more about punch needle we have a really in-depth wonderful well, I shouldn't say wonderful. It's I'm wonderful. wonderful. I'm the one doing no, it. No, so. it's, it's in-depth wonderful. Okay. Yes. Peter says it's wonderful. It's There's wonderful. really a couple of them, but uh, uh, one is really more in-depth than the other. But you could watch both of my guests' uh, video on Punch Needle, and Peter's going to link that where that little arrow is, whether it's over here or over here. <laughs> I don't know which one it is but you'll find it no matter what because you know there's only one arrow and there's only two cor corners to choose from <laughs> so until next time i hope you get a lot of punching done and we would love to see your progress over on our insiders facebook group uh all you have to do is ask to join our always in stitches uh insiders facebook group and capiel set you up with that and uh, you can show pictures of your progress. I've not seen anybody post any pictures of their punch needle. I haven't. We're also posting pictures of our Christmas quilts. Should we do a Christmas giveaway? July. Should we give away some of the Valdani thread? Ooh, I don't know if so, they post a picture. Yeah, post a picture of your if Teresa Kogut Celebrate. Any any of the ones we've done up until now, uh -huh. if you post a picture, your name will go in and we'll give away three Valdani uh, balls of yes. Floss. Post it in the insiders group. Now we didn't ask anybody if we could do that, so well, oh, we don't get in trouble. But if we do, Peter and I will buy it out of our own yeah. pockets. Okay, we'll, we'll use our yeah. our employee. Yeah, employee discount. And we'll get yeah. some for you. But we promise we'll have three. We'll get you three balls of uh, the Valdani uh, floss and uh, for punch needle. So have a nice day. Have a nice week until I see you next month with another punch. Keep on punching. Bye.